We're doing this video on the floor because it's finally past 12 p.m. which means that it's somewhat appropriate for me to have some wine. And I thought I should just sit on the floor because otherwise I'm just gonna spill everything everywhere. Today I will be doing the I am a guilty reader book tag. This tag was originally by Read Like Wild fire and i will leave the link to her channel down below so let's get into the first question question number one have you ever re-gifted a book that you've been given uh yeah i think i have in the past question two have you ever said you've read a book when you haven't um throughout high school and university i have done around about four or five long essays where I talk about Lord of the Flies in depth. I know everything about the story and the characters and the themes in the book and the meaning of the story and like all of the interwoven subtext and whatever the fuck English teachers tell you to think about but I haven't actually read the book. I don't know if that counts though because I know that a lot of people do that in school. Have you ever borrowed a book and not returned it? I remember a couple of times in like primary school when I did that. Specifically I borrowed a dictionary. Well I kind of stole it because I wasn't supposed to bring it home and I bought it home and I didn't return it. <laughs> Have you ever read a series out of order? I remember specifically this one time I think I was around like 11 or 12 and I was at the bookstore and I kept seeing this series it's a really popular series I think it's called like the something apprentice huntsman or knight or something it was like a fantasy middle grade type series I remember it was really cheap it was on sale so I picked it up and you know how bookshops do that funny thing where they put a book on sale that's in the middle of the series and so then you go to the first book and you realize that it's like full price and it's expensive um well i didn't i didn't realize that people were that mean when i was younger and so i thought oh this is this is the cheapest one out of all the other kind of books in the series so it must be the first one uh but it wasn't it was like the seventh one <laughs> Have you ever spoiled a book for someone? I remember doing this a lot in the past, especially to my best friend, and I think it's because I don't usually get phased by spoilers, but my best friend is very sensitive to spoilers, so sometimes I just start talking and she'll be like, dude, you just spoiled it for me. I'm not sure if I did this with books though, I'm pretty sure I only do them with like TV show episodes. Have you ever dog-eared a book? I think Lala from Books and Lala talked about this um, in her tag video and I definitely agree. I dog-ear, I break spines, I write in books, I highlight, I tab. And the way I look at it is I like the idea that sometime in the future my grandkids will come across my books and see all of these little notes. Um, or all of these little like creases in my books and like know that it's mine and if I come back to a book that I loved 20 years from now I want to know my exact thought at the exact time does that make sense so I definitely have no problem with kind of making a book my own and breaking it in also, I like being comfortable. If I can't fold the cover or bend the spine or dog ear my page, then the reading experience isn't really comfortable for me, you know? Have you ever told someone that you didn't own a book when you do? I don't think so, but then again, like, no one in my real life really ask about my book collection. Have you ever told someone that you haven't read a book when you have? Uh, no, I don't think so. Why, why would I do that? Oh, I guess if it's like a really guilty pleasure type, but I don't, I don't care. <laughs> Have you ever skipped a chapter or a section of a book? Oh, dude, I do this all the time, especially with like really long books. Sometimes some parts in the middle just really bore me and I just have to skip. I think, again, referencing, referencing Lala, um, she mentioned that she skipped all the fanfiction 
aspects of fangirl and I definitely did that as well. Oh and uh, I don't know if this relates to this question or not but I don't ever read prologues <laughs> and I don't do this because I want to be able to read faster or something like that because the more I enjoy a book the more time I take with it. And the last question is have you ever badmouthed a book you actually liked? I don't think that the books that I like are without flaws so when someone points them out to me I can definitely see where they're coming from but like in general if someone just says oh I don't like a book that I like then I would just kind of move on <laughs> like accept it and move on was that all of the questions yes that was all of the questions thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you guys soon